Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Susie aka Queen of Diamonds and I'm so pleased to have you with me once again. Today's video is a guided meditation otherwise known as a guided visualization. So today we are going to be lying down for this meditation. So grab yourself a yoga mat or a blanket if you like or if you prefer you can lie on a bed that's absolutely fine. Um, you can use pillows if you want to make yourself more comfortable, perhaps wrap yourself in a blanket. If you want to use an eye mask or an eye pillow as well, then you can. Just make sure that you're nice and comfortable and relaxed and that you won't be disturbed. And when you're ready, we're going to close our eyes and begin the meditation. Let's take our minds away from this place now. Start to imagine the hot sun beating down on you. It warms the crown of your head, your face, your shoulders, your arms, your chest, your belly, your legs, and finally all the way down to your feet. You feel warm from head to toe. Where are you basking in this sunshine? This warmth is the desert sun. And as you look around you, you realize you are standing on a small dirt path in the middle of the desert, in Arizona to be exact. The sky above is wide and bright blue and the hot sun is streaming down in its cloudless expanse. Look before you and the red brown desert stretches flat as far as the eye can see with small dry shrubs dotting the landscape like spots and tall spiky cacti jutting up here and there. On the far horizon, you can just make out the shape of grand mountains with their snow-capped peaks. But from this distance, the majestic Rockies look like tiny points. Look to your left and your right. What can you see? Nothing but desert stretching to the horizon. No buildings, no people, no animals, no roads. Perhaps this is the remotest spot on earth. Or is there a building? You turn to look behind you and, rising seeming from the desert rock itself, an ancient ruined Pueblo dwelling is sitting silently at the end of this path, standing proud and strong against the empty landscape. Built on a mound of smooth rock, this red bricked monument has crumbling walls revealing several rooms, its roof long gone and exposing the inside to the elements. And a small square tower which rises three storeys high. Roughly hewn steps lead up to the dwelling, built by the Hopi tribe many centuries ago. Here it sits, silently watching, waiting, alone in this remote desert, abandoned and weather-beaten, with empty windows and tumble-down walls. 
The sun beats down upon its dry stonework and illuminates the rooms inside. How long has it been sat here, waiting for a visitor? It seems to call to you, and you make your way down the dirt path towards it. As you draw nearer, you feel a deep sense of peace in this place. The bustle of its ancient inhabitants is long past, and instead a powerful sense of stillness and rest seems to emanate from these ruins, as if they are in a deep sleep. You reach the steps and start to climb up to the monument. The steps are carved from the rocky desert mound itself. As you ascend slowly, you feel the hot sun still warming you and relaxing you. The only sound is your soft steps upon the rock and your steady breathing as you climb. You reach the doorway of the monument, well, an opening between two low walls that was once a doorway, and go inside. The walls of the main building have crumbled to varying heights and the roof is long gone. The floor is loosely packed red dirt. Here and there are openings in the stonework that once were windows and doors. You can see the layout of the rooms and wonder what they were for. Perhaps that one was once a kitchen and that one a bedroom. No one can tell now. The wall nearest you is about waist height and you rest on it, tired from your walk and the heat of the day. The stonework feels warm and rough to the touch eroded by the baking sun and sand. From this building, rising up high from the desert rock, you can see in every direction as far as the horizon. The view is awe-inspiring. As you pause and gaze out over the endless desert, you realise just how quiet this place is. Now you have stopped. There is no sound. Absolutely nothing. No bird song. No rustling of animals. No traffic or aeroplane noise. No wind. No movement of anything as far as the eye can see. It is as though you have suddenly lost your sense of hearing, as though time has stood still. And perhaps it has. The Pueblo certainly has stood here, still down the centuries, untouched by modern man, looking exactly the same now as it did 100 years ago. Stop, it seems to say to you. Be still as I am still. Sit with me and enjoy my silence. You are overtaken by this sense of timelessness, of profound peace, this magical place out of time, the air heavy, with the hush of silence. Stop here for a while. Enjoy the warmth of the sun, the deep serenity, the silence, the stillness.
There are some places on this earth where it feels like you could sit forever, without any cares left, with such a sense of calm that the real world, with its hustle and bustle, problems and distractions, seems to not even exist anymore. This is one of them. Perhaps this is why the Hopi chose this place to build their dwelling all those centuries ago. But we have to return to the real world now. However, we can take this peaceful feeling back with us and recall it in our minds and bodies whenever we like by sitting and imagining ourselves in a place such as this or maybe somewhere you know personally and reliving the experience all over again. So let's leave the desert now and bring our minds back to this room back to this time and place, back to our body, here are the sounds outside of this room and inside of the room. Hear your breath as it flows in and out. Feel your body as you lie on the floor. Feel the floor beneath you. And just start to bring some gentle movement back to your fingers and your toes. Just wriggle them a bit. Circle the wrists and flex the feet. Just bring that movement gradually back into the body. And if you like, you can take a nice big deep stretch. And in your own time, you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this uh, very special meditation session. Um, for those of you who may be wondering, the place in question that I described is a real place. It's called Wukoki Desert Monument. That's W-U-K-O-K-I, Desert Monument. And it's located near Flagstaff in Arizona, in the middle of the desert. Um, you can visit it still. Um, it's very off the beaten track. And if you're ever in the area, I really do encourage you to go and visit because um, it's just, it's a really magical place. I, as I hope the meditation has made clear, it had a very, very profound effect on me. And um, yeah, I guarantee you won't be disappointed if you go and visit. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to be notified when I post up new videos. And you can also follow my podcast, Queen of Diamonds UK, for audio versions of my guided meditations. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. I've been Susie, aka Queen of Diamonds, and I hope you have an amazing day.